13 games have just received their play scores on the iOS. The play score is a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. At 14th place is The Mummy Dark Universe Stories. The first among many remade classic monsters, The Mummy was not the box office hit that we were expecting it to be. Thankfully, with this movie tie-in, its true glory of their dark universe will leave a better impression on fans worldwide. From the makers of the critically acclaimed Oxenfree and Mr. Robot, Night School Studio is giving their own spin on the adventure. Similar to the previous atmospheric hits, the game is an episodic venture. For those planning to watch the movie, it might be wise to avoid this for a while. It starts off after the events of the film, following protagonist Nick Morden as he goes on his usual globe-trotting escapades. Decode ancient spellbooks, lift evil curses, and uncover mysteries throughout its artistic comic book visuals. There's currently 12 chapters to indulge, with developers promising to release more in the coming months. Unfortunately, the game is haunted by looming in-app purchases. Operating under a ticket system, it's either you wait 6 hours after every chapter or pay up. With clever dialogue and stylish visuals, it receives a play score of a 6.87. At number 13 is Prison Architect Mobile. Nope, this is not another prison escape game. In fact, it's the complete opposite. Putting you on the other side of the coin, Prison Architect is a simulation game that lets you create your very own maximum security prison. Yeah, it's a pretty far-fetched idea, but it's a miracle that someone thought of it. Making its debut on the PC last 2015, it has been met with wide acclaim as it fuses the dark themes of prison life with the comical complexities of its management. Published by Paradox Interactive, Introversion Software delves into the strange simulation subject that lets you oversee the creation of prison from the building of the very first walls. Aside from construction, you'll also be tasked with managing the staff pay, raising morale, and creating the best prison environment. Explore a well-crafted campaign mode to learn the ropes of effective prison building and experiencing life behind bars through a series of cutscenes. Fun as it is, it has been panned by critics for a few compatibility issues. It has a play score of a 6.9. Coming in at number 12 is PES 2017, also known as Pro Evolution Soccer. Konami's annual football game is squaring off with EA Sports FIFA in the mobile hemisphere. Although FIFA had been winning the console game for years, it looks like PES has finally made the upper hand with its well-executed port to the mobile that's miles ahead of EA's FIFA Mobile. Making use of the same engine as their console games, it offers the players a smoother gaming experience. The road to the Premier League is made even better with realistic ball controls, satisfying passes, and a responsive visual interface. Side by side with FIFA's clunkier controls and money-making schemes, it still proves itself worthy of the attention. But if there's one thing that brings PES down, it's the lack of respectable licenses compared to FIFA's long list of acquired teams and badges. While you might be forced to play using fictional teams and players, the game's overall polish and flair still makes it one of the best mobile football experiences with a play score of a 7.3. 11th place is Asphalt Street Storm Racing. Gameloft is taking the fight to the streets in the latest installment of their acclaimed Asphalt series. Get a taste of the adrenaline-pumping action and take on the mess of badass drag racing along with a collection of fastest and baddest beauties from all corners of the world. With their move to drag racing, they're taking it to a whole new level. The enhanced graphics, added content, and upgraded dynamic weather system will surely make any racing fan drool. Travel to the streets of the world's most beautiful cities and zip past the lovely sceneries of Paris, New York, and Hong Kong. Watch the excitement unfold with pink slips to bet on your favorite cars or get right into the action as you compete against three other rivals for the money and the juicy bragging points. But alas, the road to victory isn't as clear this time, with their dynamic weather system bringing you rain, sleet, and storm to challenge your skills. While it's a perfectly serviceable game with great presentation, viewers have criticized its lack of originality and ridiculous progression system that's haunted many of Gameloft's games. For that, it receives a play score of a 7.31. Tenth place is Dead Age. Putting a fresh new twist on mobile zombie survival, Dead Age brings you right in the center of the action. Try to live another day as you journey along with other survivors in this infested land. 
veering away from the usual mindless shooting of most zombie games, this game adds another layer of gameplay, sprinkling some strategy and roguelike elements along with the threatening risk of permadeath. Every playthrough is a harrowing struggle for survival. The food is scarce, injuries need to be tended, and the smell of death is in the air. Increase your chances of survival by forming alliances, learning some necessary skills, and scavenging for supplies. Aside from the gameplay, it also has been praised for its impeccable non-linear storytelling. Throughout your journey, you'll be forced to make some hard decisions that will affect the events in the game. Start rivalries, spark some romance, become the hero, and unlock one of six different endings. It has a play score of a 7.76. At number 9 is Farming Simulator 18. The latest in their line of mobile farming simulators since Farming Simulator 16's release in 2015, you get to bask in the tranquility of the quiet country life and revel in the whirring of heavy machinery, the earthy smell of barnyard animals, and the wonderful sight of blooming crops. Turn your patches of land into the farm of your dreams with all of their new features. Start your journey by tilling land and harvesting crops over the 50 available farming vehicles from the world's most trusted brands like Challengers, Valtas, and Fence. Along with our cars is an extensive array of crops to cycle over the years. Choose from beets, potatoes, wheat, canola, and for the first time in the series, sunflowers. You can turn your boring old farm into a beacon of bright yellow hues. Milk some cows, shear the wool, and breed some pigs for some delicious bacon. It might not be the most realistic game on the market, but its upgraded 3D graphics can definitely bring you one step closer to your dreams. It has a play score of a 7.85. Eighth on our list is Skullgirls. Lab Zero's indie fighting game has found success on the PC and console since its initial release in 2012. Published by Line, the 2D fighting game finally makes it to the mobile platforms as a high-caliber free-to-play RPG no less than five years after its initial release. While the mobile hemisphere is already home to a few fighting game ports, Skullgirls is reportedly one of the few games that made proper use of the smartphone's touch interface. Its fighting mechanics has been based on Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which might explain its many similarities such as tag team battles, character assists, and combos. Step into the high-energy arenas of three different game modes and choose from eight of their roster of characters with their own elemental quirks. Using developer Alex Ahad's hand-drawn designs, it boasts a distinct and recognizable art style that leans towards a steampunk fantasy. Although it was criticized by some for its limited fighters, its complex fighting mechanics and wonderful art style gives it a play score of an 8.1. 7th place goes to Frame 2. Created by the powerful hands of video game god Hideo Kojima, Framed has won dozens of awards since its debut in 2014, not the very least bragging that year's Game of the Year. Since then, fans have been screaming for another game. Three years after, it finally gets a well-deserved sequel backed by the equally invented Love Shack. Return to the silhouette-filled world of their classy noir puzzle and enjoy the thrill of rearranging puzzles into their respective narrative plays. While it keeps all the best parts of the previous game, this new sequel adds a ton of novelty to the beloved original. Sail off to the shores of China and meet your monochromatic companion and master the tricks of a new generation with reusable and rotatable panels. Frame 2 may have a lot of differences, but it still has the very same fun and satisfying puzzle solving as the original. It has a play score of an 8.17. Sixth place goes to Load Runner 1. If you're one of the many fans of the classic puzzle platformer, the Nexon Studios' latest project will definitely bring a smile to your faces. Culminating everything you loved from the arcade platformer, Nexon puts a modernized twist to the beloved game. Even with its cute cartoony look, Load Runner 1 plays much like the original, even going so far as to include their classic stages. But despite all of these offerings, the game is absolutely completely for free. Which is one of the weird things about it, really. No hidden fees, no ads, and no in-app purchases. Well, save for a link to Toad's Eyes Load Runner Classic on the iOS. This gift to the world offers over 35 different levels, a built-in level creator, and a cool multiplayer mode. Jump right back into the arcade era and challenge players from all around the globe and maneuver through its complicated stages. Being given away for free, there's really not much to criticize about the game. 
But if there's one bad thing to say about it, it's that there is currently no offline mode available, which is a bit of a bummer. But then again, it has a play score of an 8.21. Lucky number 5 goes to Monument Valley 2. With its bright maps, vibrant colors, and mesmerizing gameplay, Monument Valley has cemented itself onto the Mobile Hall of Fame, winning the hearts of gamers and critics all around the world. With fans fawning over their creation, thousands have cried for another game since its debut last 2014. But when all hope is gone, us too storms the world with an explosive surprise release just last May. Along with the return of their signature visuals is the introduction of a whole new tale to uncover. In this touching sequel, help Ro as she guides her daughter through the dizzying twists and slopes of their mysterious valley. The game is as beautiful as ever, with new MC Escher-like maps and architecture and an inviting collection of atmospheric music. While the first game was a masterpiece on its own itself, it did lack a certain drive to make players keep forging on. But with this new tale of family and motherhood, it's a more complete puzzle experience. It has a play score of an 8.27. Fourth on our list is Old Man's Journey. Another example of video game as art, take a trip into the mind memory of a wizened old man as he steps out of his humble home and into a grand adventure. For those who enjoy a visually pleasing and enjoyable adventure game, then this might just be the perfect fit. Weave through its gorgeous hand-drawn styles and into the man's poignant memories. As he sets out for his journey, guide the old man past an increasingly complicated arrangement of mountains and hills and fulfill a mysterious quest. It plays almost like the stories of Marcel Proust as you encounter events, interact with your environment, and trigger remembrance with each step. Along with a strong art style, its charming animations also makes a pretty good job of drawing you in. But one common criticism about the game is its occasional dip in pace, with sequences that drag on for just a minute too long. But in these moments, its gorgeous visuals gladly take the fall. Delightful and endlessly engaging, it receives a play score of an 8.3. Third on the list is Chroma Squad. One of the quirkiest games of this month, this 8-bit masterpiece by Solo Camerati feels like an unexpected fusion between Power Rangers and Game Dev Tycoon. While the Brazilian studio has its shares of copyright disputes with Sabin when it first arrived on Kickstarter, that's all hopefully behind them. Since its debut, its remarkably arranged pixels has brought happiness to tactical RPG fans across the globe. Play as a humble team of stunt actors who left their jobs to create their very own tokusatsu company. Your job is to establish your own TV show. Behind the scenes, you're tasked with hiring actors into the show, assigning them with special powers and traits. But once the stage is set, you'll have to battle those monsters for yourself. For your actors, another stage is just another day in the studio with their performance and the battles set as measures for your show's ratings. Fight baddies with all that you've got, create the best show, and gain fans across the nation. Despite its lush animations and enjoyable gameplay, Chroma Squad is unfortunately a very short game. Hopefully, that'll all change soon because it has a play score of an 8.32. We're down to our second to the last game, which is The Art of Conquest or AOC. If you're looking for a new RTS game to obsess over, then you have Lilith Game to thank for this wonderful new game that combines the best of role-playing, real-time strategy, and MMOs. Putting you in charge of a whole kingdom of magic and monsters, as well as its army of Darwin warriors, pick from one of three starting heroes and start exploring its vast and stunning lands. Go around the world collecting loot, amassing your armies, fighting against dragons, and expanding your kingdom through its lengthy siege battles. Become the strongest kingdom by gathering enough resources from the world or from your unsuspecting neighbors. There are a million things to do in this world of AOC. And while it's more MMO than anything else, Lilith Games is making sure that you enjoy every minute of it. It has a play score of an 8.37. And the best play scored iOS game this month is Flippin' Legends. For a game that's just been released last June, this game had been making waves and zigzags throughout our most recent mobile lists and our beloved mobile gamers. While it's not much for the eyes to see, it has proved its worth among this month's best games with its easy-to-pick and hard-to-master formula. From one of mobile's most well-known studios, Noodle Cake is adding another feather to their cap with this addicting arcade game. While it seems like we're seeing the decline of the endless runner game with that amount of generic clones on the stores right now, 
Flipping Legends distinguishes itself from the others with a well-implemented RPG strategies and an unconventional movement system. All those elements combined creates an outstandingly unique game that's both simple and strategically challenging. Just like Crossy Road, it has comical voxel visuals that fit in with the theme of the game. Dive into the deep, dark world full of bandits and zombies and squash them all as mage, ninja, ranger, and a whole array of unlockable characters. Collect coins, level up, and rid the world of baddies one spell at a time. It has a play score of a 9.31. You can get these games right now by clicking the links below.